Hello and welcome to our Christmas Day message. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Pastor Jim Fu, and I serve at Christ United Methodist Church of Elmhurst and Cavalry United Methodist Church of Villa Park. I pray that you are having a wonderful holiday season, and I'm especially glad you are spending a little time with me. To start us off, I'd like to ask you all a question. The question is, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Most Americans have forgotten the real meaning of Christmas. Do you agree or disagree with that statement? Ipsos, a survey firm, asked this question of 1,023 people this December 2022. And here are the results. There's a lot of information on this graphic. And you can pause the video if you want to take it all in. But let me cut to the chase by directing your attention to the black or gray numbers that appear on the right side of the slide under the column Total Agree you'll see that 75% of all Americans believe that most Americans have forgotten the real meaning of Christmas. Among Christians, the number is 84% agree. And surprisingly, 60% of Americans that say they have no religion agree with that statement. What a terrible outcome. And yet with numbers that high, there's a super high chance that you agree with that statement too. What are we to say about this? Actually, it's little wonder so many people think that we've forgotten the real meaning of Christmas. It seems the sales and the decorations come out earlier and earlier each year, along with the Christmas music. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Christmas music. But as we spread it over a longer and longer period of time, it all starts to seem more and more ordinary, every day, maybe even commonplace. It loses its specialness. And at the same time, we seem to be under more and more pressure to make Christmas happen and happen well. We want to have happy and fun family gatherings. We want to experience the joy that the Christmas movies show are part of the season. We want the gifts we give to be just the right thing to those who we give them. And yet this survey shows that we've forgotten the true meaning of Christmas. I'd like to share a funny yet kind of serious video with you. Just to set the stage, most of you are familiar with what a search engine is, something like a Google or a Bing, or maybe even some of you know DuckDuckGo. But for those who do not, think of a search engine as something that you can ask a question of that will search the internet and provide lists of answers. This video imagines a Christmas search engine as a helpful but overworked person during the holiday season, trying to answer everyone's question about how to have a great Christmas or how to deal with its challenges. Let's have a look. Hey, welcome. I'm the Christmas search engine, and I can help you find anything related to DIY Christmas decorations. Oh, oh okay. Um, let's jump right in. Here we go. <laughs> what date Christmas this year? Uh, December 25th. What date Christmas next year? December 25th. Song that goes. Um, I think I know what you're looking for. How cook ham? Okay. How cook ham fast? Uh... Oh, ham flamethrower recipe. Wait, what? Christmas present mom. 
Nice. Cheap. Nice. What date Christmas 2035? Are you serious? Is Santa Claus real? Uh, you should maybe ask your parents about that. Gift wrap bowling ball. Please be careful. Custom dog Christmas. Sorry, what? Christmas dog custom cute. Oh, you mean costume? Christmas dog costume cute! Gift wrap accordion. Uh, that's gonna be tricky. Can I drink expired eggnog? No. What happens if drink expired eggnog? Why'd you even ask me in the first place? Dealing with relatives. Okay. Dealing with nosy relatives. Oh, uh, well. Dealing with my nosy overbearing relatives who won't stay out of my business. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's pretty much all the same stuff. <laughs> Gift wrap a saddle. Who are you buying this stuff for? Santa Claus riding a unicorn. Santa Claus riding a unicorn socks. Is that a thing? Search it up. Oh wow, here they are. Take my money. Norwegian tree skirts. How many lights, one outlet? Elf pajamas. Dog singing Christmas carols. <sighs> oh, hello. What is Christmas really about? <laughs> I've got just the thing. An angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. So, Jesus? <laughs> Jesus. May I? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Huh. How fix burnt ham? Okay. You know what? Forget it. Pizza delivery Christmas Eve. No problem. That's it. That's the real meaning of Christmas. The gift of Jesus Christ, God's Son, given to us this day so that our sins, our self-imposed separation from God, could be and would be forgiven. We all know it. I'm not saying you don't already know. We've all seen the Jesus is the reason for the season bumper stickers go by. And yet... For many, the reason of the season is forgotten, lost in the hubbub of all the other stuff, the business and the distraction. So I'm asking you that this day, whenever you have a couple minutes to slip off by yourself, away from all the food and the celebrating and the visiting, to remember that the meaning of Christmas is Jesus to give thanks to God for this great gift that our real that is our real and enduring joy and to hear God's call on your heart to be led to our infant savior the king of Israel and indeed the king of all humankind i leave you with a video of the song the first noel it remembers those who were called to the manger that first Christmas. May it lead all of us to rejoice as they did and to follow Jesus Christ this day and every day. Christmas blessings on all of you. May we be known as those who do know the real meaning of Christmas. Amen. Certain poor shepherds in
they looked up.